Hi, I'm David Peterson. I illustrated an edition of Kenneth Graham's classic children's tale, The Wind in the Willows. And to help me visualize the world, I did what I do on a lot of my illustration projects, which is to build a physical model, like this one, of Rat's Boat. Now, this is one of the first models that I built when starting this job, and that's because there was uh, some talk on what the cover image should be, and the, the two big choices were, should it be of the full cast near Toad Hall, or should it be Mole and Rat or, uh, rowing around in Rat's boat? Um, so I built a model of Rat's boat so that I could come up with a couple different options for perspective, angles, what would show the two characters best in the format of the cover. Um, to make this model, I used exclusively chipboard, which are the brown pieces. That's the stuff that uh, the back of sketch pads and Bristol board pads are made out of. And the white is all Bristol board, which is a thicker cardstock that uh, illustrators use as the surface for drawing on. Um, to make this boat, I did what I think normal boat builders do, which is to build, and I don't know the boat terminology, so I apologize, uh, this piece along the bottom, the butt end, and these two rails along the side. Um, those formed kind of the structure, the main structure of, of uh, the shape of the boat. Um, to complete that and, and start building it out, I built what I call like the rib cage um, and all these, these pieces here. These are all also chipboard that I just bent and then glued together with uh, a combination of uh, rubber, uh, super glue just to quickly tack it and then hot melt glue to give it some rigidity and structure. After I had those those ribs all attached to the the outer upper rails and the lower um, I think prow, I might be wrong on that terminology, uh, I started skinning the boat with planks of uh, Bristol board. Um, you can see the the pieces there and I had to make little trims so that it followed the curve and contour um, and then I just glued it all together with with super glue and and hot melt glue, um, adding two seats, one for uh, the passenger and one for the rower. I did not put in oar locks, which I wish I had because there's uh, one illustration in the book where the oar locks, uh, based on the perspective of the boat, uh, one of them is drastically in the wrong spot. But such is life. Uh, to make the oars, I used basswood, which is a uh, a hobbyist's wood of preference. Uh, it's what a lot of hobbyists use for making dollhouse furniture or dollhouse trim. Um, I actually didn't have any dowel of it around, so I used square stock and uh, and whittled down just one end to be round, uh, knocked off the corners, but whittled only one end to be close to round, put it in a drill, and then just used a piece of sandpaper to kind of spin it down into something that was round. Um, I made the handle the same way by spinning that a little longer and uh, I put a notch in the end so that I could put in just a uh, chipboard piece for the uh, for the paddle of the oar and I made a set of two um, to illustrate and come up with uh, uh, positions for the oars to be in that were accurate I would use uh, pieces of kneaded eraser or modeling clay and just blobbed up on the edge here and would place uh, place the oar in it and it would stay in place. I could even put it up like someone was mid-stroke. Um, but this gave me an opportunity to have the boat uh, that I could show it in different angles so that you're seeing some of the characters or they're coming a little bit more at you in a, in a tall vertical format doing a horizontal profile shot which shows the characters off beautifully. Um, makes the outside edges very uh, very tight and leaves a lot of height above and below for water and sky. Um, so being able to have a model where I can kind of rotate, see different angles, see what's going to work, show off the characters where they don't start to overlap each other um, was very helpful. There are also lots of scenes with this boat and including some of them where the boat is turned upside down. So having a practical model where I could see what that looked like um, made a lot of difference and it was uh, the first model in what became a, a long series of models for illustrating this book. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the model, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy Wind in the Willows. Thanks for watching.